And just finally here, Senator, would you take part in a, uh, an, an audit about citizenship? This seems to be uh, something that a lot of the other crossbenchers Let's... want to happen. Would you do it? No. No, I won't have a bar of it. Uh, not the That's moment, a mistake. Anyway. The, the, um, Huge mistake. Yeah, the, the issue is uh, it's a reverse onus of proof, so you have to prove exactly. that you're not a, a foreign yeah. citizen. Um, second, um, we don't even know what the rules are. And, and uh, uh, there is another point even on, I, well, I can't quite remember it at the moment, mm. but th this idea of a reverse onus of proof is, what are you going to prove? Well, you know, that, that's, that's a very bad principle. The idea is you're innocent until proven guilty. Well, and there's no law that they can use to compel well, you to give this. That was the other point. So if they say to you, you prov provide documents to prove that you're not a foreign citizen, and I say, no, I'm not going to do that. You go, and, you go and find out if you think that I'm guilty. What are they going to do? There is no law. It would be unconstitutional to try and uh, impose on me, as a sitting member of parliament, um, some sort of obligation like that about my eligibility. You couldn't do it. I actually think... Gary, and Paul, yeah. Paul, Sorry, and Paul look, you know, look, you know, the other point here is that it's 226 Australians. 226 Australians are the only ones that are not allowed to be dual citizens and that is because of that constitutional requirement in 44. But at the end of it, we trust them to run the bloody country. Surely we can trust them to talk to their parents and their grandparents and find out whether or not they are, in fact, dual nationals or could be dual nationals. But and to take aren't. steps to fix it. Well, OK, but it's still only 95% that, that, that have read the, the form that they've signed and understood what they were signing. So, you know, let's just not make laws to deal with a few people who can't understand what it is that the rules are. I, I, I don't get this. I really don't get why it is we want to have some bleeding audit. And I agree with David Leinhelm. You know, it, it is just wrong to impose upon people who we trust to run the country to explain who they are. They better know. And, and frankly, if I, was, if I was Malcolm Turnbull, I'd be saying, you've got two weeks to get this, kids. Anybody after this, we're going to throw the book at you, including uh, making a false declaration on an official document if you haven't fronted up about this. Well, I'm out it's of time, ridiculous. but Fiona and Darren, we should hear from you on this issue. Look, I actually think there should be an audit because clearly we have people who have not uh, adhered to the rules. I think it's pretty simple. You have to know where seven people were born. That's you, your parents and your grandparents. You don't know those things and one of those aren't born in Australia, then you need to go and have that revoked. So I think there should be an audit because enough people have got it wrong and the fact that the oh, Labor Party haven't on. handed over Grown their documents... Ups. I think they're they should. Ups, but the second Fiona, part of it, be but the second part of it I do want to say very quickly is that maybe birth certificates and things like that need to be submitted when candidates are accepted by the AEC. Would you accept that? That's not sufficient. What, what, what nah. if Libya or North Korea decided to make all of us in the parliament, in the Senate or the House, citizens of their country? What, what are we supposed to then decide? Well, none of us are eligible. We don't know what the rules are until the High Court decides these That's cases, right. and tightens we, up its yeah, interpretation. We, will we do know what the rules are. We right. don't know what the rules That's are. That's exactly right. All right, That's Senators, exactly former right. Ministers, friends, thank you one and all. We'll see you again very soon. Thank you, David.